All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the Ecamm Live Countdown Timer that is an overlay. Uh, very simple to use. You may be asking yourself, why would I need a countdown timer? I'm not a game show host. I'm not doing any kind of quizzes and stuff. But uh, it, it's used for a totally different purpose. And uh, maybe this will make sense to you once we sort of explain uh, when you go live and what it does. So um, let's say in, in this example here, we'd like to go live at 11 o'clock. We had all the material, we're ready to go live. And instead of just pushing the live button right at 11 o'clock, um, what we're going to do uh, as as smart Facebook Facebookers or even YouTubers, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a, a we're going to broadcast live maybe five, 10 minutes prior so that we can give the, the notification process it's time to notify all of our friends and all of our viewers that want to view the stuff, okay? So if I show up five minutes early, uh, if I push the broadcast button five minutes early, it's going to send the notifications out there to all of my people, and now they're going to know that, hey, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going live here. And they're going to come check it out, but when they come check it out, you're not going to be there. So we need a timer to show people, hey, we're getting ready to go live here in about five minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how we would do that. Uh, what I always like to do is create a new scene, and we're going to go ahead and label it because uh, we're, we're all going to be uh, good pre-scene creators here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the, the plus button, um, or I can go ahead and just duplicate the, the scene that we have here. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it. That way I'm not showing you any of my desktop that I don't want you to see. But I'm going to go ahead and click this right here. Uh, it duplicated every single thing to include the layers. Now I am going to name this countdown. Okay. So that way I know when I'm going live, this is this is what I need to have uh, have available. Okay. So I have that. Uh, we labeled a countdown. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of these uh, these items here that we're not going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, shift click hit the delete button and now I'm just presented with my overlays that I'd like to have on every single slide uh, I did create um, this thing right here which is the the timer test JPEG and I created that with uh, keynotes actually and I'm gonna go ahead and, and put it on here okay as you can see it is filling my screen up right here with with the entire image uh, so I ha have on here you know classroom Classroom starting soon. Uh, take seats. Uh, kind of as a little joke here, but we're going to go ahead and add a timer to this uh, right here in in the center of the chalkboard. Okay, and we can do that two ways. We can left click hold new countdown overlay, or we can go over here three two one. Uh, click on it. A drop down menu will appear. This should look very familiar to you as far as the the text settings and everything goes. Um, like I said in the, the text overlay section, I'm really not too concerned with the, the size right here. Now, what I am concerned with is the end time. So say, for example, I wanted my, I know that my show is going to be going live here at, uh, at 1230, okay, and it's going to be on the, you know, 425, 2018. I'm going to go ahead and click on the add button. You know, I already chose the color. Uh, we got the shadow effect applied, no background, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. Now you can see I have a tiny little, tiny little countdown timer, but no problem. I can go ahead and increase that, and now I have the the timer already preset in here. Okay, so now not a problem. Uh, once I'm ready to go live, uh, you know, again showing up five minutes early, ten minutes early, and that's when I'm going to go ahead and come down here. And push the you know the go live button you know so if we are utilizing this in Facebook and we're logged in and everything uh, you'd be able to click on the broadcast button and this timer will show up now something that you do want to keep in mind here is that you can see that right up here my voice is my voice is speaking so you may want to mute your mic so that way they don't hear anything that going on in the background they just know hey and you know, whatever the timer says down here, that's when this webinar is going to be taking place. Okay, so that's that's the importance of the of the countdown slide. And then once you once your once this goes to zero, now it's time to bring in the other scene right here. So you can go ahead and say, hey guys, I'm live, I'm here, and we've got a great webinar that we're going to be talking about today, and just just move right along.
Okay, you can go totally uh, disregard the the countdown timer, countdown slide anyway, uh, until you need it the next time around. It will always be there, and then all you would have to do is go back to the countdown and then double click the text, uh, double click the the timer anyway, and then just update the time for your next show. So, the scenes are very very crucial, um, you know, for pre-production to make sure that your job is easier when you're doing this live, okay? So that is the, the text timer overlay uh, inside of Ecamm Live.